Hey there. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, that's not cool because that's a scary movie reference. Sorry, guys. All right, question five on the homework from Mr. C for 422. Okay, we're still talking about those angle relationships. So, guys, when you start looking at these, look and see if you can give them a name. Okay? There are two horizontal lines parallel to each other. The third line intersects them. You got two parallel lines cut by a transversal. The pictures look like some version of this every single time. So, you can assume those relationships. If the blue colored angle right here is 109 degrees, then calculate the angle it's colored in red. Okay, so let's look at these. Okay, if I look at my angle relationships, I look right away, I see this is on the inside of the line and I realize it over here. This one is an alternate interior. This one isn't an alternate interior. It's not the same seat. If I was doing same seat, different table, it'd be right here. If I was doing alternate interior, it'd be here. If I was talking about vertical angles, it would be over here. Can't give it a name. If I can't give it a name, that relationship is supplementary. 180 minus 109. You have a supplementary angle here. See, when you put it with another angle that you know is 109 degrees, it forms that straight angle. Okay? And you got to type it in that little doodad thing. Good luck with that. I don't know how to do that myself, guys, honestly. Um, if you are struggling with that, though, let me know, and I will figure it out and help you out. Okay, number six. In the diagram, line MN is parallel to line PQ. You got those two parallel lines. This time they're going up and down. They're vertical, and they're cut by a transversal. Still have those same things. Either going to be congruent, going to be supplementary. Okay, find the following angle measures. Let's see what we know. We know that this angle right here is 137 degrees. So we can find another piece of information right away. If those angles aren't 137 degrees, well, they're going to be 137. Like this one's going to be 137 because that's a vertical angle. This one over here, that's going to be 137 because that's my alternate interior. This one's going to be 137 because... I can say it's corresponding with this angle. I can say it's vertical to this angle. Or I can say it's an alternate exterior with this one. Now, all of those have some sort of relationship you can talk about. You can give it a special name. They're all congruent to each other. The rest of those angles are going to be supplementary to those angles we just did there in blue. I'm going to use green this time. 180 minus 137 gives me... 43. When we do our big old, grab your calculator, guys. So any angle that's not 140 or 137 is 100, is 43. And all of those angles too, guys, you can, they have relationships to each other. Seven and this one across from it, they're vertical. These two, alternate interior. These two, alternate exterior. These two, corresponding, corresponding. So your, their angles are all going to be related. I like the colors because it shows you that you only have two relationships and you can only have two possible answers. So take a look at this. Think about it. If it's in blue, it's 137. If it's in green, it's 43. That's all there is to it. Okay, now here's where we move into using two things we already know how to do or we're learning how to do and something we already know how to do. Um, we're now going to take the angle relationships we've learned about. We're going to combine it with algebra that we already know how to do and we're going to use those two things together. So this shows, this is two lines. So there's only one kind of relationship between those two angles. Okay, um, you're going to solve for Z in this figure. When we look at this figure, these two angles are across each other from this central point. Remember, when we do vocabulary, the central point is called the vertex. So these are vertical angles. Oh, I got to get my clicker back on. There we go. Vertical angles are congruent. Okay, vertical angles are the same size. So 
in order to find out, it asks us to solve for z. In order to solve for z, all we have to do is set up an equation that says that this angle here is equal to this angle here because congruent means they're equal. So I'm going to set up my equation. 78 is equal to 5x minus 2. And then I'm going to solve for x. Oh, it's z. <laughs> I used x. Sorry. I'm going to add 2 to both sides. And I get 80 equals 5z. Okay, I got to make my... Oh, I can get rid of it now. Okay. So I have 80 equals 5z. Divide both sides by 5 to get rid of the coefficient 5. And I find out that z is equal to 16. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do in each of these problems going forward is to figure out the relationship between the angles. And then once I know the relationship, I'm either going to set those two values in those angles up equal to each other, or I'm going to make them add them together and make them equal to 180. Okay, so that's how we're going to go through these problems. We'll do one more on this slide, and then I'm going to move on um, and do it to the next one so it's another short one. You don't have to do it all at once. Okay. So use the relationship between the angles to find the value of x. Okay, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to my drawing tool because I love my drawing tool. Okay, I got this time. I'm going to draw my rectangles. Here's one rectangle. Here's my other rectangle. There's my seats at the table. I'm going to change color here. Somebody's sitting right there. He's sitting right there. Somebody else sitting right there at that seat. Okay, they're sitting at the same seat at a different table. When we talk about those terms, same seat, different, same seat, different table, we are talking about, whoops, I got to erase that, I guess. We are talking about congruent angle or corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are congruent. So to solve this problem, we're going to set the two terms that we have here up equal to each other. We have 102 for, for the measure of this angle, and we have x plus 15 for the measure of the lower angle. 102 is equal to x plus 15. I'm going to solve just like I was doing any other Algebra, or algebra problem. I'm going to, I don't have a variable on both sides. I need to get rid of that constant by itself, subtract 15 from both sides, and I end up with x equal to 87. So the algebra we're doing is just the same algebra we've been practicing. You use the algebra rules, and what we're doing now is we're just using that and adding, practicing using our angle relationships. Okay? So I'm going to stop this video, pick up with the third one. We have four more problems that are like this. Um, if you don't need it, great, because just keep practicing the vocabulary and do your algebra. But if you need help with those last four questions, just go to the third video.